All right. Thanks, Inigo. I am super excited to show what we've been working on at Othana, our real-time character controller. So, but first, uh, this is Unreal Engine, and uh, this is the built-in character controller that comes with Unreal. And you can see the character starts and stops somewhat abruptly, uh, and then uh, 180 turns, the character just spins in place. Uh, if you're starting off with a new project, this is fine, but we can do better. So let's hook up our real-time character controller. Recompile and restart. All right. So this is our model uh, running in Unreal Engine 5. And you can see the character starts and stops uh, a lot more smoothly, and the 180 turns are a lot more realistically realistic. Uh, yeah, it, basically the character is a lot more um, grounded in the environment. So this is our generative diffusion model embedded in UE5. The model is running in real time, and every frame you see is AI generated. Um, using a controller, I could smoothly transition from a walk to a jog and to a sprint. I could also uh, control the facing direction separate from movement, so I could backpedal or sidestep and do all the directions in between. So this model uses 20 megabytes of memory, which is much less than motion matching, which would take uh, over 100 megabytes to match the same motion. And, and these aren't canned animation clips, just playing back. Uh, the model is generating the motion uh, on the spot based on controller input. Yeah, our plugin fits right into Unreal. Uh, no complex state machines or animation databases to manage. And you could uh, transition out at any time or layer on uh, physics or IK. <laughs> uh, that looked painful. <laughs> so uh, now you can see the characters limping. And uh... <laughs> so this is just uh, one of the styles that's embedded in our model. Let's take a closer look at more of those styles on our website. All right, so this is Uthana.com. And just like in Unreal, you can get the character moving just by clicking on the ground or uh, using the, uh, the uh, control keys. Um, let's take a look at a couple more of those styles. Like, uh, he's looking a bit sad. Um, maybe his paper didn't get accepted to cigarette this year. <laughs> or uh, this guy. Uh, I, th I think I saw him power walking on the waterfront earlier. Um, but we don't just have a few styles, we have over 100. Uh, let's take a look at, can't show them all here, but uh, this one's my favorite. I'm the big boss guy, and I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> so uh, uh, we can make a, a recording of this motion. Let's uh, have the character walk into the camera, and uh, yeah, let's stop it, and then upload it. Big boss guy. All right, and now once it's up uploaded to Athana.com, uh, we can modify it further uh, with our powerful AI tools. Here's Ryan to show you more. Thank you very much, Tony. That was fantastic. That was fast Twitch generative AI in the browser. Now we're going to slow Twitch generative AI in our back end. This is our text emotion suite. We have three different text emotion models on the back end. Each one produces a different unique motion for you. Choose the one you want. Uh, I'll go with this one. This is about a nine and a half second clip for this uh, demo. I want them to be about three seconds. So I'm gonna trim it down a bit. Let's see here and save it. So now we have to ask, why is Manny celebrating? Because he's gonna kick the winning goal at next year's World Cup. Now we do have a motion library. We have over 30,000 um, pre-made clips that you can search through uh, and select, but if you wanna generate something that's not in our library or something fresh, we generate it with our back-end models. And again, three different models, three different previews. Uh, like this middle one, I'm gonna, not going to wait for the last one, the demo. Again, this is, let's see, five seconds. I'm going to trim this down to three as well. Bring that one and that one. 
And now I'm going to create a scene. I'm going to take these two motions and stitch them together. So we go to our stitch mode. We make this, the kicking the soccer ball, the leading motion. For the trailing motion, we go to celebrating a victory. And then we stitch. This is a different generative AI model. The in-between frames are not just interpolated. They're actually, uh, each one is AI generated. So now we've got this scene, which is great. We could even retarget it right away to our flagship character, Tar. Now, Tar has five spine bones, by the way. If we had chosen to retarget to a smaller character like Mousy, Mousy has three spine bones. Where's our spine? There we go three spine bones, but we want you to retarget, we want you to bring your own character. So if you have a local FBX or GLB, you can upload it and we'll retarget to you. And you don't have to specify bone mapping, we do that for you. And even if you don't have a rig, if you just have a mesh, we will rig it for you. And now we're gonna have your character with this um, generative AI scene kicking and celebrating. But let's keep going. Let's go, remember the big boss guy that Tony made. Um, let's trim that down, and we're going to make the big boss guy play some soccer. Uh, you think live coding is hard? Try live trimming motion. Okay, there we go. About three seconds. We trim this now. And now this is our leading motion, the big boss guy walking forward, and the trailing motion is going to be the soccer scene. I come up, and we could even adjust the uh, stitch duration if we wanted. How about 0.8 seconds? We stitch them together. And now we have your character that you uploaded and you controlled in real time in browser with our generative models that we then stitch to our text to motion model. And if you like these models, you can download them to FBX or GLB. So all of you developers and animators, come to uthana.com and generate more motions more quickly. Thank you very much. <laughs>